there's always a need for piano players, especially someone who can read new music easily. And I could do that, and in high school particularly, I learned how to, to accompany a choir. This history book is something that I've put together from going through old boxes of material. And it, it's divided up into 10 years time. We have a picture of the lady who started the whole thing, Carrie Hepner. They uh, were composed initially of a group of women who really, at that time, women didn't work, and so they needed to find something to do. These women were interested in culture and making Portland a more cultural community, and so they wanted to support young people as they uh, became culturally musical. The Monday Music Club was, had put on plays. They had Shakespeare in the Park in the, in the 30s or the 20s even. And they also were helpful in uh, bringing the Civic Auditorium to Portland and the uh, symphony which was at first the Portland Symphony, and then there's the Junior Philharmonic. I do know that the uh, members um, tried to do their part for the, the armed forces. They collected instruments and records and books and so forth. The Monday Music Club's annual spring concert will be the dramatic department's presentation of the Trojan Women by Euripides. Here's someone sang the Song of India by Rimsky Karskoff. It's, it's typical. I'm program chairman this year, and so I'm. I've got someone from the symphony, an oboe player, is going to be playing next Monday. Now the whole thing has changed because women have gone to work and they didn't have time on their hands. So it's become more of women who have retired. We have a wonderful chorus that meets every week and it's for women who love to sing music. And uh, they put on they sing at retirement homes and so forth, and they put on a concert once a year. This year we're selling calendars. We've made up a musical calendar, and we're going to sell our calendars. We have luncheons, fashion shows, uh, all the regular ways that women's groups raise money. I suggested the, the old calendar bit where we pose nude, but no one wanted to be the posers. <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> anyway. all to raise money for the scholarships we give to young people. Every year we have auditions and young people apply and come to the auditions and try to win our scholarships and we give away, I would say, about $8,000. We wish it could be $80,000, but we're not that good at raising money. Young people these days like to, uh, they're challenged by modern music, and that's wonderful because it's so complicated and, and that it is fun to play and, and certainly harder to memorize, it seems to me. I think most young people learn their, their classical music by watching cartoons, Old Tom and Jerry's. And, and you see this cat at the piano playing this Hungarian stuff as fast as he can go. <laughs> One of our winners that we're most aware of is Thomas Lauderdale, who at the time he won our little dinky $500 scholarship, 
we didn't know that he'd already won a four-year scholarship to Harvard. <laughs>